Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. In this video, we are going to talk about a very new leap forward in uh, deep reinforcement learning. This is coming from DeepMind. Uh, very unsurprisingly, DeepMind has been in the news for a lot of their recent uh, research and development. So DeepMind's latest uh, agent or system or algorithm, whatever they would like to call it, it's called Mu0. So what is Mu0? Mu0 is a, is a new uh, AI uh, intelligence system that doesn't have to know the rules of a game but still it can play the game and uh, for example it can play Go, it can play Chess, uh, Shogi, Atari, all these games it can play without knowing the rules. So before even we get on to Mu0, let's uh, take a step back and then look at what has happened before this. So in uh, Jan 2016, uh, AlphaGo became a um, news. In fact, uh, this is, I think, the first step in DeepMind becoming uh, an internet sensation or a um, PR sensation. So what uh, AlphaGo did is that AlphaGo actually ba uh, mastered the pro uh, game called Go. It was using neural networks and tree search at that time. So the way it learned is uh, it was using human uh, data, um, the training data and the way playing with humans and domain knowledge, what is go and knowing the rules of the game. So what is uh, what what it should do, what it should not do. So then what um, DeepMind team tried to do is they try to generalize AlphaGo and then they um, made it uh, a new they made a new system called AlphaGo zero which is taking the human knowledge uh, human input and domain knowledge out of the system so AlphaGo zero is a generalized version of AlphaGo which can play itself uh, for example it doesn't need any human or domain knowledge all it needs to know is um, knowing the rules of a game so then later on um, DeepMind further enhanced their uh, system and they called it Alpha zero and what Alpha Zero could do is it can play all these three games Go, Chess, Shogi. All these three games are not even easier for human beings to play. But uh, just one year later, Alpha Zero came into picture. And then just using a single algorithm, it can play all the three different games. And all it had to know is it had to know the rules. But still the downside is Alpha Zero could generalize uh, for all these three games but it cannot play games that are visually appealing like Atari. So these uh, three games were solved using uh, a look ahead tree search model but uh, the downside is a look ahead tree search model cannot be used for uh, for something like atari which which has a dynamic environment that can keep on changing because rules cannot work there it's not bound by you know simple rules and uh, Thanks to Mu0, so Mu0 can now play all the games, Go, Chess, Shogi, Atari, it doesn't need to know the rules of the game at all, which means uh, all it needs to know is it needs to take the best course of action uh, and that action will define what it is going to do next and without knowing the rules it can still know it. So very very quickly to summarize what uh, Mu0 is, uh, Alpha0 uh, learned to master um, um, Go, Chess, Shogi and Mu0 is a, it's a, it's a step further in general purpose algorithm. So what Mu0 does is without needing to be told the uh, rules uh, it can uh, just use the winning strategies like what is the next best action for a given situation in unknown environment it can basically take those actions and then it can play the game uh, visually um, um, enriched game like Atari not just a, a rule based game so to get into slightly technical details not exactly technical but slightly technical details of what has happened uh, in this is uh, so a general a general algorithm right uh, so to have an algorithm that doesn't have to uh, be very specific to have an algorithm that can uh, ha be generalized to multiple situation uh, researchers have used two main approaches one is called a look ahead search and the second one is uh, model based planning so look ahead search is what is used in um, alpha zero a system like alpha zero that uh, learn to play checker chess poker so it knows um, multiple levels down that human beings cannot um, probably comprehend because of its thanks to its computation power and uh, deep learning so it can go multiple uh, levels ahead and then it can actually know which game uh, which uh, step gives it uh, maximum benefit and then it can play the same thing uh, but the problem is uh, any system like this uh, look ahead search is very difficult to apply for a real world environment where 
it has got a lot of different uh, uh, complicated uh, systems so you cannot actually distill down those rules into simple uh, rules or um, heuristics so it's very difficult for uh, applying any such um, look ahead search uh, into a real world situation and that is where model based planning comes into picture model what model based planning does is model based system does is it tries to learn the environment rather than learning the rules it tries to learn the environment and based on the environment what it learns it tries to model model the environment based on the model of that environment that it has learned it uh, tries to make a further step so this is really helpful uh, in a visually rich domain like um, atari so where uh, so solutions like dq and um, agent 57 have uh, done really good so these are model free system which is they don't actually uh, use a learned model uh, but uh, instead as the name suggests right they don't necessarily so one is model based system where it learns to model the environment the second one is model free algorithm where it uh, instead of uh, using the learned model it tries to estimate what is the next best action for this current situation and then it does it based on that so mu zero is basically a combination of these both so where uh, it has um, where it, what it does is instead of trying to model the entire environment environment what it does is it tries to learn the most important aspects of that particular environment which means uh, it learns the most impo important aspect uh, that is required for the decision making process so instead of making it uh, completely for a given environment it tries to learn what is more important for decision making of that given environment and uh, thus um, it can actually know um, uh, so for example uh, it knows that uh, knowing an umbrella will keep you dry Uh, is more useful than modeling the pattern of raindrops in the air so th this is the the generalized version of learning about what you can learn which is more important for a given environment so what mu0 actually uh, mu0 model contains it contains a uh, value which is to say that uh, how good the current position is um, whether in the in, in the environment is it a good position policy what is the best action uh, to be taken uh, the next and reward how good was the last action so that the action can be optimized all these are actually learned using deep neural network and uh, you can you can get into the math details about how this is all being done and mu0 is really uh, mu0 uh, as we saw earlier it has done it really well and uh, there is a paper that is published on nature in december 2020 just couple of days back that uh, gets into detail of all this now that is quite impressive uh, what what is impressive uh, in this is because we have or to be specific deep mind has come up with a, an algorithm that is uh, that can be generalized uh, beyond what it is being trained for so it has got an algorithm that doesn't need to know the rules so this is one step ahead of um, you know having a generalized ai system ai agent that human beings have been um, striving for a lot of time so this might again spark the age old conversation about singularity um, how much uh, an ai should know all these things but leaving those uh, philosophical discussions aside this is definitely a huge leap in terms of research but now you might ask me the question what 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 does it even mean like what does this research mean for me or for for the entire world will it ever get implemented because deep mind being a part of uh, alphabet which is the mother company that also owns google uh, so what does it even mean uh, that's a question that a lot of people try to answer and a lot of people still think that uh, these kind of uh, research uh, for example um, um uh, deep mind had previously like a couple of weeks back was in news for solving the protein folding problem so uh, now uh, the question again is the same so what does it even mean so the answer is very simple uh, so there is a there is a very nice article uh, that is published on um, bbc uh, where they spoke to uh, the researcher who is involved in uh, mu0 so according to the researcher mu0 uh, could be used directly um, and, but not uh, we don't know how soon or when it is going to happen but mu0 could have an impact in youtube and the first area that they have explored is uh, video compression so according to uh, do, uh, dr uh, silver uh, so uh, video compression is is a is a very complicated business right so we have set up defined algorithms that currently does its job and we go by that and video compression is so 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 important because uh, a lot of things on internet is video uh, which means uh, you, you can send a particular set of uh, 
particular size of video uh, over the internet uh, for a given second and if you and that packet is defined that is defined by the internet speed but if you can reduce if you can compress that video further you could do really wonders um, for example you could um, you could you could have uh, let's say like uh, somebody uh, in remote or uh, doing operation for a patient surgery for a patient you could do a lot of things uh, but the first thing that they are trying to f f do is um, uh, come up with an efficient uh, video uh, compression algorithm using mu zero not not you know not by us defining what 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 should that algorithm do but but just letting mu zero itself um, find out uh, what is the best algorithm and the important thing is after initial experiment mu zero actually has shown some significant gain uh, and uh, it could be really a potential money saving option for youtube and then you know like any company uh, alphabet would at some point want to monetize whatever deep mind is doing so youtube is the first place that you can start expecting mu um, zero or deep minds uh, latest algorithm to come into play uh and this this means that uh, there could be a lot of great things that is hap uh, happening on internet because video compression or uh, for that matter compression algorithms can uh, take uh, internet um, irrespective of internet speed uh, it can take uh, data transfer and a lot of those things forward but what does it also mean there are a lot of people uh, raising uh, concerns about uh, deep mind uh, deep mind uh, not being so considerate about what uh, what an ai system should learn what an ai system should know and for for that matter for those who ever uh, watched uh, silicon valley um, silicon valley is the silicon valley is the show that was pub uh, that was on uh, that was on um, hbo max i think so if you if you are if you are familiar with the silicon valley series uh, the the start of pied piper of silicon valley was uh, trying to pied piper let me put pied piper compression so if you if you if you are familiar with silicon valley especially the last season uh, the startup pied piper was trying to exactly do the same thing they were trying to uh, they were trying to um, um, do video compression using artificial intelligence and uh, for those who watch the series you know what happened at the end uh, this the ai system started optimizing 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 and a lot of things started happening so yes uh, it's a valid concern uh, i think um, deep mind should be more mindful about what an ai system should know the ai system should not know um, how how are we going to prevent uh, or you know have a bottleneck to do all those things but uh, leaving that uh, like i said uh, all the philosophical discussion aside mu zero is a very significant achievement in deep reinforcement learning and um, building AI agents that could be generalized for multiple environments especially if, for the matter of fact that if you do not have to teach rules for such a system uh, the potential is endless uh, let's let's hope that um, uh, a solution like mu zero is really used for betterment of human beings than you know um, where humans have to uh, f fear that ai system is going to take over or something so i will link uh, this uh, article and also the bbc uh, news uh, in the description if you like this video please give a thumbs up and share it with your friends and also subscribe to the channel until next video please stay safe happy holidays